Well, Zhang Haidi is the chairwoman of the China Disability, Disabled Persons Federation. She herself is disabled, but is known as a role model in China for persistence and perseverance. Zhang didn't go to school because of the social prejudice against the disabled in China, but her self-taught way of learning led her to a college degree. CGTN's Meng Qingsheng spoke to Zhang about the ways China is encouraging its disabled community. I have been working at the China Disabled Persons Federation for nine years, and next March will be the 30th anniversary of the Federation's establishment. Over the past three decades, we have made enormous progress in terms of rehabilitation, education, employment, poverty relief, culture, as well as sports. When I was a child, I had no idea about rehabilitation. But now rehabilitation centers are everywhere in China, covering all provinces, municipalities, and autonomous regions. Some of them are equipped with top-level facilities. Many of the disabled, especially children, have received timely treatment. Meanwhile, most deaf children are equipped with hearing aids, while some of them have cochlear implants. All of this prepares them to better integrate into society. We have also been dedicated to promoting cultural and sports development for the disabled. This can be seen from the fabulous achievements made by Chinese disabled athletes, who have ranked top of the medal tally four times regarding the total number of medals and gold medals. I think the results exhibit their hard work as well as improved training facilities in China. These achievements wouldn't be possible without the care given by the Communist Party of China, the government, as well as society as a whole. There's an improved atmosphere in society with people keen to help the disabled and encourage them to have confidence, hope and strength.